What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to change this barrel from an A2 uh, pre-band configuration to a uh, post-band configuration. I've already removed the uh, flash suppressor, the sight riser gas block, the gas tube, the fore end. So this is uh, pretty much ready to disassemble the barrel from the receiver. I'm going to have to use an armorer's tool to get this nut loose. I'm going to have to push it in a little bit against this delta ring because they tend to force it out in some instances. And it may take a little bit of force to break that loose. Now we've got our barrel and barrel net combination from the pre-band setup and we'll set that aside. Now our post-band barrel is going to have a free float tube. We'll set it into the receiver, index it. The barrel net is built into the uh, rear of the assembly. It's threaded on the inside and it has indexing holes for the gas tube. So we're going to have to align that gas tube. Now, the barrel nut should be torqued from 30 to 80 foot-pounds. We'll start at the minimum, and once we get uh, gas tube alignment, that's as much as we want to torque this. We'll put our barrel nut on, run it down snug, and we've got a gas, gas tube port that is roughly at the top right now, but that's just hand tight. We've got our torque wrench set at 30 pounds. We'll insert it in the armor's tool, index it so we've got a good starting point. And I'm going to put it in the very next hole in the barrel nut so that I can get it lined up pretty much with the first go, hopefully. Our torque wrench gave us an indication that it's torqued properly. Let's check our index mark. Now you can do this with the gas tube. You need to make sure that the gas tube bend is upward. And you can just check it to see if it goes in. It's not quite lined up. So I can actually add a little bit more torque because I can see that it's it has a few degrees to go. I'm going to go up 10 pounds to 40 foot pounds and all I'm going to try and do is line up the gas tube port so that it's exactly at the top. I don't want to go any further than that if I don't have to. We have alignment on the gas tube. Now we're going to put the uh, hand guard on. I'm going to leave the gas tube in place because it's easier than fishing the gas tube into the hole with that uh, long hand guard on. Now we've got this down hand tight. You can put a strap wrench on it also, but uh, in most cases it's not necessary. Now we're going to maintain control of the gas tube we slide the uh, front sight block on, get the gas tube started in it. Now I'm going to see if I can't insert a punch and keep that gas tube aligned because once I lose control of it, it makes it very difficult to uh, keep track of. Tentatively, we're going to tighten down the uh, gas block so it's snug just until we get that gas tube secured. Now I'm going to remove it from the vise. And this takes a uh, standard gas tube pin. Use a small hammer to start the pin.
we'll seat the uh, cross pin Now I can look down there and I can see that that uh, front sight and gas block is just a little off of level. So I'm going to lock it back in the uh, blocks and I'll get a level. We level the uh, receiver. We should have both on the same plane. Now we're putting just a little bit of uh, pressure on the screws to lock that in place. Get our tools out of the way. Pull it out of the vice blocks. And we'll test it uh, for function before we test fire it. Just to make sure the bolt closes smoothly on the gas tube and there's proper movement. There you have a front sight gas block and uh, fore end and a post band barrel.